Hi everyone. Today we're looking at a new feature in Cognigy which will help us with resolving certain inputs that users might make, especially on voice channels. So what can turn a sentence like we are Charlie, O for Oliver, G as in Grandma, N like Nebraska, India Golf, Y for Yamaha into we are Cognigy. So if someone spells out the word Cognigy like this, how can we take this input from a user and turn it into the correct word or into the correct phrase afterwards? Another example would be this one. What can turn my number is triple five dash seven eight three dash double two six two into my number is five 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 seven eight three two two six two. The answer is Cognigy's text cleaner functions, which have been released with Cognigy version four point five one. So let's take a look at what we've built and why we've built it. When interacting with voice bots users sometimes communicate with the voice bot exactly in the way that they would communicate with a human, right? So they might spell out certain things. So if they say, okay, what's the part number you're looking for? They might say Alpha Bravo triple five. Traditionally, conversational systems had a hard time understanding those phrases. Sometimes they're resolved by the speech text or ASR system, but in most cases they are not. And so this leads to lower understanding rates and then meaning lower resolution rates because we'll have a harder time detecting the correct intents, detecting the correct slots, etc., etc. And sometimes what we've seen is that SDT or ASR systems partially incorrectly transcribe text. So for example, the output from the SDT could be my number is 5435 and these as numbers and then something like double six instead of the complete number. And the solution to that are the Cognigy text cleaner functions. Now, what are the functions? Which ones are available and how do they help us? So a whole bunch of functions has been made available. And after this overview, we're going to look at um, how they can actually be used inside of Cognigy. The first function is clean disallowed symbols. And there are optional extra parameters for this one. It removes all the symbols that are not explicitly allowed. Symbols are characters and numbers. So the ones that are allowed by default in a certain locale are all the valid characters. So in English, this is A to Z in lowercase and uppercase spelling, and the numbers from zero to nine. In German, for example, we would have extra characters like Ö, Ä, Ü, and uh, Z, the umlauts that are also allowed by default, but you can add extra ones in that uh, you want allowed, for example, an exclamation mark or something like that, right? And so what this function will do, it will clean the text um, from the uh, symbols that are not um, explicitly allowed. The second one is the resolve spelled out numbers function. Pretty easy to explain. If you have something coming in as 200 and 157, uh, 201, 57, then um, this is going to take this and it's going to replace the words that represent these numbers with the actual numbers. Resolve phonetic alphabet detects and replaces all the words that are part of the phonetic alphabet. Right? So there are standard phonetic alphabets that come with the system, like the NATO alphabet in English, for example. We have extended those for the certain uh, for the different locales. So um, the NATO alphabet always works, but then depending on the locale, you might have different alphabets that you can use. Like in German, it might be something like uh, Heinrich Emil Ludwig uh, that will also work. You can extend those, though, with, with additional para uh, parameters. The um, resolve phonetic alphabet function will always return the result as lowercase characters that are separated by a space. The replace special words function replaces specifically set words or phrases with the replacement. So for example, if you say you want to replace Lufthansa with LH, then every time Lufthansa as a word is mentioned, it's going to be replaced with LH in the sentence. Resolve spelled out alphabet so this is different from the phonetic alphabet. The spelled out alphabet resolves um, phrases where the alphabets have been spelled out with example words. So these are words where a character is mentioned, like A, and then a connector exists, like for or as in or like, and then another word is mentioned. So A for apple, A as in apple, right? B like banana. So we are going to resolve those correctly as well. And what we're using is we're using the first character of the word that describes the, um, the character. Resolve phonetic counters, resolve strings like three times two, triple four, 
etc etc into the um, into the correct numbers so three times four would be four 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 what's important is that the counter at the end so the four th this has to be already a number right so you might want to use this in conjunction with results spelled out numbers for it to work correctly contract single characters joins all single standing characters so if we have resolved for example if, if my, my name is Cognigy, um and they all stand by them uh, on their own because we used resolve phonetic alphabet to resolve it then we can use contract single characters to then contract all single standing characters similar contract number groups so this all joins all the numbers standing next to each other they don't have to be single numbers but all numbers next to each other into one large number and last but not least we have trim results which uh, the trim result sorry which um, trims white spaces from the start and from the end of a sentence. Now where can we use the functions? We can use them in a new node which is called the clean text node. We can use them in question nodes to pre-process answers before they are evaluated. We can use them in code nodes and we can also use them in LU and endpoint transformers. Let's start off by looking at the text cleaner functions in the clean text node. This is a new node that exists in the Cognigy flow editor and it exposes all the functions that we um, that we talked about before and the extra parameters if a function is activated. The functions are executed in sequence. So first, for example, clean disallowed symbols, and then we're moving down the stack here. And in sequence, each cleaner function is executed. Let's take a look at that. Here we're in the Cognigy flow editor. We've placed a clean text node that is using the input text and does not have any of the clean text functions activated at this stage and is storing into the input object into the clean text variable. So if I put something in, let's take this um, text here. We are Charlie, O for Oliver, G as in Grandma, N like Nebraska, India, Golf, Y for Yamaha. We are getting the exact same text back because we're not cleaning it yet. Now, if we want to clean this, and if we want to get we are Cognigy out, we might want to resolve the phonetic alphabet. Here we can now add extra alphabets, but let's not do that at this stage, and see what the result is. This now already resolved Charlie. It resolved India and golf. So now it says we are C, O for Oliver, G is in grammar and like Nebraska, I, G, Y for Yamaha. Now how, how would we resolve the rest? We would go in and we would say resolve spelled out alphabet. This should get rid of all the all the other spelled out characters. So now we have we are Cognigy, but it's still not that nice because these characters all stand on their own. So what we could do here is we could say contract single characters. And with that, we should get the result we're looking for. Let's look at another example. All the options in the clean text note are off. And the example is this. My number is triple five dash seven eight three dash double two six two now let's activate the spelled out numbers this should already resolve the two here and the um, two here and the five um, as well let's take a look five two and two have been resolved but still this isn't this isn't really a good number so let's also resolve the phonetic counters this should get um, rid of the triple five and the double six Let's take a look at that and we do but now we have these these dashes in here how, how do we get rid of the dashes we get rid of the dashes by saying clean disallowed symbols and here we can now add um, additionally mapped symbols and we can write dash and map it to space that will get rid of the dash and we'll replace the dash with the space and now we have a more properly formatted number here and if we want to contract this now we say contract number groups, and this should give us a proper result that we were looking for. And of course, all of this also works on voice. Let's try it out. Welcome to the text cleaner demo. Please say something and I will output a cleaned version. My number is 555-783-2262. I heard my number is 555-783-2262. And as we can see here, the speech text actually caught some of it already, and then the cleaner did its magic and outputted the correct number. 
Now, where else can these um, text cleaner functions be used? One other spot is directly in the question notes, because of course it might make a lot of sense to clean the answer that a user has sent before we're using it to evaluate the question answer. Right? So we have a new section in the question note, which is called answer pre-processing. And it's essentially a copy of the, um, of the um, functions that we saw in the clean text function here. So this becomes really handy when you want to use text questions, but also slot questions, where you're, for example, looking for a product slot. The question asks, uh, what is the product number? And it expects a product slot, which is, in this case, two characters followed by three numbers. And we are pre-processing the answer. So we are resolving spelled out numbers, turning the words one, two, three into the numbers one, two, three, resolving phonetic alphabets, alpha, bravo, charlie, resolve spelled out alphabets, as in A for apple, B for banana, contract single characters and number groups. And that then leads to this. We say, hi, what's the product number? We say that would be A for apple, bravo, one, two, three. And it does actually find the correct slot, right? So we can see that here. That is the result from the question. Now, in the question notes, there's one special setting, which is rerun Cognitive NLU after pre-processing steps. So that means after we've run all the cleaning steps, we can then rerun the NLU to, for example, detect slots, right? Because, of course, we wouldn't find a product slot with this original input. We are cleaning it to that would be A, B, 1, 2, 3, and then we are rerunning the NLU to then successfully find a slot. Now, you can not just use this in our pre-built nodes like the clean text node or the question node. You can also use this in code nodes with full flexibility. So in code nodes, you can instantiate a new instance of the text cleaner class by using the get text cleaner function and passing it a locale. And then you have access also here. You can see this in IntelliSense to all the functions. You can clean all that just executes all the functions or only the ones that you want, as in clean disallowed symbols, etc. So let's take a look. Here in the code note, we have instantiated a text cleaner in English. Um, you do have further options if you want to add uh, options in like additional allowed characters and so on, if you want. But in this case, we're just leaving those out. And uh, you could use the um, clean all function. But in this case, we're just using the resolve phonetic alphabet and resolve spelled out alphabet functions. And just testing this out here, it says I work for Cognigy, so works perfectly also in code notes. Last but not least, you have the ability to use the text cleaner in transformers, and that is in NLU transformers and in endpoint transformers. What we can see here is that we're using it in the pre-NLU function of an NLU transformer, where we instantiate an instance of the text cleaner, in this case in the English locale, and then use it with the clean all function. Now what this does, it will clean the text before it is given to the NLU. So before we detect slots, etc. And as you can see, when we say uh, my name is uh, blah, 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 and my number is a number. So for example, double three, triple four, six, seven, then this is cleaned before it reaches the NLU and before it reaches the flow so that number slots, etc., will also be correctly detected. So here we have a simple flow that just has one say note and it just mirrors my input text back at me. Say hi, it says input text is hi. My name is Alpha Bravo Charlie. And because we're not using the text cleaner functions, it's just mirroring that back at me. Now we wanna set it up in a way so that it's um, using the text cleaner functions every single time. We've set up a new NLU connector Cognigy NLU, we've activated the pre-NLU transformer. And in here, all we're doing is we're getting an instance of the text cleaner class in English in this case, and we are overriding the input text with a cleaned input text. Clean all just executes all the cleaner functions. Now what this does, if we reset the session here and if we use the Cognigy NLU transformer instead of our normal NLU transformer, if we say hi, it's still gonna say hi. If we say my name is Alpha um, Bravo Charlie, I'm going to get back uh, my name is ABC because we've we've done a clean all which resolved the phonetic alphabet and contracted the single standing characters. So yeah, those are the new text cleaner functions. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to try it out for yourself, 
head over to trial.cognigy.ai, sign up for a free account, and we are looking forward to seeing what you'll be building with this.